In Quebec, thousands of unvaccinated health care workers who were facing suspension as of Friday are getting a temporary reprie reprieve. The province is extending the deadline requiring them to be vaccinated against COVID-19. They'll now have an extra 30 days to get their shots. Here's Quebec Health Minister Christian Dubé. We took the difficult decision last night, late last night, to postpone the implementation of the decree on mandatory vaccination in the health network until November 15. We want to give the unvaccinated staff extra time to collect their dose. But I want to be clear, we will apply the mandatory vaccination for healthcare workers, but postponing the 30-day deadline is the best solution under the circumstances. Well, let's talk about those circumstances now with the CBC's Alison Northcott. She's live in Montreal. Alison, why the delay? Well, the health minister had been really firm up until yesterday afternoon that he was not going to extend that deadline. But he said he had meetings last night and that, you know, speaking with people on the ground, he came to the realization and, and he was able to determine that suspending thousands of healthcare workers who are unvaccinated in the healthcare system at this moment would have a really bad impact on the healthcare system. And he said that it could cause the healthcare system to really hit a wall. So it was not something that he could go ahead with right now. So they are extending it for 30 more days uh, until November 15th. And he said, well, 96% of Quebec's healthcare workers uh, do have at least one dose. Those who don't are not spread out evenly throughout the sector so that some regions and some sectors would be hit a lot harder than others. And so this suspensions could have a really heavy impact on the healthcare system. Have a listen. In those sectors that are deemed uh, critical, uh, you'd have to um, supplement people, uh, the, the teams that are unvaccinated with people that are vaccinated. You can't not have critical care beds. You can't not, uh, you, you have to have access to emergency rooms in, in, in all regions. So the health minister also was mentioning uh, long-term care homes and his concern about taking staff out of those settings where there are so many people who are so vulnerable for them to lose staff, especially after we saw what happened during the first wave when there was a shortage of staff and how deadly uh, it was in Quebec's long-term care homes. So he said he couldn't risk getting back into that position by taking more staff away at this time. So the staff now who are not vaccinated in the private system and in the public system will have to be tested three times a week. So what does he expect to change in the next 30 days? Well, that is, they do hope that over the next 30 days, maybe co-workers will convince their unvaccinated colleagues and it will give the colleagues more time. Also, uh, professional orders like the Order of Nurses and the Order of Auxiliary Nurses have said that their members could lose uh, their ability to practice their, their licenses if they're not vaccinated. So they're hoping that that will be another incentive for them. We did speak with one nurse who is unvaccinated. She said for her, she's relieved that the government made this decision. But it doesn't change uh, her resolve that she doesn't she still doesn't plan to get the vaccine. Another nurse that we spoke with who is vaccinated was angry and frustrated because he said this. Uh, he can't believe that unvaccinated people would be allowed to continue working in places like long term care homes. So frustration from him. The the one of the biggest nurses union in Quebec, though, said that this will stop a short term chaos within the system. But there are still a lot of problems within the system that need to be resolved and it remains very fragile. All right, Alison, thank you. The CBC's Alison Northcott in Montreal.